Hey there. In a previous video, I talked about how the standard tick tick calendar functionality just doesn't quite work for me, usually. And I gave an example of how I've been using the next seven days with the Kanban view in order to get a kind of pseudo calendar view where the tasks are grouped by days within columns. But in this video, I want to go back to the standard tick tick calendar on the mobile app and show you some new functionality that has just come out. And I know that the tick tick 7.0 mobile app is on the way. Uh, tick tick keeps announcing it on their Twitter account. But I would imagine that this functionality would be part of that because this has just recently come out as an update to their mobile app. And actually, I'm on the beta version of their mobile app. And the beta version that I'm on still shows 6.9. So I'm a little confused on whether this functionality is available to all users at this point, or maybe it's just the beta group right now, and it will come when 7.0 becomes available. But let me show it to you. I do think it's a major improvement on the calendar functionality. Hello, I'm Joshua Best. All right, so I'm gonna pull out my phone here, which is an Android device. I would imagine that this is available on iOS as well. But if it's not, like I said, I'm sure it will be coming with the 7.0 update uh, that's coming soon. So let me open Tick Tick. All right, so I'm gonna go over to the calendar view. Now this is usually how my calendar view looks. I don't normally schedule tasks with a time, so all of the tasks end up bunched up at the top. It's hard to see what I need to do. Um, I have nothing down here in the time slots because I don't usually schedule the time. Now I understand that I could. I could come up here and drag these down and say I'm gonna do this, install the demo client at 10 o'clock. And let's see, I wanna drag that to be an hour maybe. I could do that, but that's not usually the way I work. If you click this icon up here next to today, it's between the today and the three dots. And I'm gonna call that the view icon because it lets you see the different views. Now, some of the other views are similar, right? So a weak view looks even more terrible. I can't even read the task names at this point. So that's pretty unusable in my opinion. Also the month view on a mobile device, this is also pretty unusable. So really on the mobile device, I think maybe you could use the three day view. This one is okay. You can at least get the first couple of words of the task and you can kind of see what's coming up in the next couple of days. Um, but the day view is primarily what you're going to use on the mobile device because here you can at least see the full task name. Even though, like I said, they're all bunched up at the top for me because I don't usually schedule a time. However, if you notice when I click that view icon, there is a new view available over on the very left side. It's called list. So when you click the list option, this is a really nice view. This is the major improvement on the calendar functionality. So here I can see the days across the top. So it's October 26th. I can clearly see my tasks that I have for today. A lot of mine are all day tasks because I haven't uh, scheduled a time. I can see the priority on them. See the red circle up at the very top next to find the checkbook uh, task. That shows me the priority. If I do have a time scheduled for a task, like I put the install the demo client task at 10 a.m., I can clearly see that over on the left side. So this is a very clean and usable view of the calendar. So this I could find myself using. Obviously, if you need to click into the task, you can do that. You can pull up the details. You can update the priority or whatever you need to update and just click out of it. You can see that the priority is automatically updated in this view. Now move up the code is a yellow priority, meaning a medium priority. You can also switch days pretty quickly. Um, you just come up here to the top, click Friday to see what's going on tomorrow. Click Saturday to see what's going on in a couple days. If I need to move to the next week, I can just swipe over and now I'm in the next week and I can swipe back to go back to the previous week. So again, this is very easy, very usable, a very clean, and I think it's a major improvement to the mobile calendar app. So that's what I wanted to show you guys today. Uh, if you pull up your mobile app, and you look for it and you see that it's not there, uh, just be patient. Tick Tick has promised us that 7.0 update is coming, and I'm sure this view will be part of it if it's not already available. Well, that's all for this video. 
Thanks for watching. Have a good one.